Hey folks! The Linux distro Linux Mint appears in two editions. One is based on Ubuntu, the other on Debian. Both are actively maintained and thus receive the same application layer from Linux Mint. So all the good is from Linux Mint. Now we try to resolve this in-house competitive situation and give a clear answer to the question of whether you should use the normal Linux Mint edition or the LMDE is better for you. At the time, Linux Mint started with an Ubuntu base. Fortunately, you took all Ubuntu versions. Today, the focus is only on Ubuntu LTS versions and that's a good thing. Because Linux Mint can offer an extremely stable Linux desktop. But Ubuntu is not free in its decision and has to follow canonical strategy. This is Mark Shuttleworth's company behind Ubuntu. Like any company, Canonical is interested in making money. The interests of Canonical can therefore be contrary to those of a private user or a different Linux distribution. So it is that Ubuntu has become a part of the Canonical product range and fulfills a function within the value chain. Fulfilling this function brings with it special features in Ubuntu that are controversial in the area of the free and open source software. Most of Canonical's controversial decisions have already been revised, but doesn't mean they were less heavy. But they symbolize the decision of the Linux Mint developers to ensure some independence from Ubuntu. Since Ubuntu is based on Debian, Ubuntu and Debian are quite close relatives. The effort to port the packages of Cinnamon from Ubuntu back to Debian was manageable for the Linux Mint developers. Thus began the history of the Linux Mint Debian edition, LMDE for short as a potential alternative to the Ubuntu base edition. Initially on shaky ground and designed as a rolling Debian, LMDE is now based on the stable Debian release. That means the highest possible stability and a rock-solid robustness in the substructure. First of all, there is the substructure. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu LTS. LMDE is based on Debian stable. The release dates between Debian Stable and Ubuntu LTS do not fall in the same year. For example, Debian 10 was released in 2019, Ubuntu 2004 in 2020, Debian 11 in 2021, Ubuntu 2204 in 2022, Debian 13 is likely to be released in 2023. So depending on when you look typicality of an edition, it is either Ubuntu LTS or Debian Stable currently on a newer package level. Apart from the substructure, the Ubuntu-based edition is supported longer. The regular Linux Mint edition gets almost 5 years of LTS support. With the Debian edition, you don't use up the full supported period of a Debian stable version, but you have to jump to the latest LMDE version approximately every 2-3 to three years. In the end, with the Ubuntu edition, you get almost 2 more years of support. With regard to the system requirements of 64-bit hardware, both editions require the same specs. An example, at least 2 GB of RAM, better 4 or more, 20 GB disk space, better 100 GB or more, and VGA resolution. You know that there are no difference in the specs of 64-bit architecture. A relevant difference for users of older computers is that LMDE still supports 32-bit architecture. The Ubuntu edition hasn't been since the version 2004. So if you still use older hardware in any way, you have to use LMDE. Speaking of older computers, many say that a desktop should also be taken into account accordingly. You then only get a choice with the regular Linux Mint edition between Cinnamon, XFCE and Mate. But please keep in mind that all three desktops have the same requirements. So in terms of hardware requirements, there are no stumbling blocks. I know this might have surprised some of you now that XFCE and Cinnamon make no difference, but I think you can take it. To sum it up, Cinnamon is as efficient as XFCE and Mate are. LMDE is only offered with Cinnamon. You should also find XFCE and Mate in the Debian package source, but the themes are certainly not as nicely adapted as, for example, in the counterparts of the regular Linux Mint edition, so keep that in mind. Very good hardware recognition and the driver management known from Ubuntu in connection with proprietary drivers speak in favor of the Ubuntu edition. Furthermore, software packages in the Debian package format can be updated natively thanks to PPA package sources. Their stability should also be mentioned. 
Linux Mint is a workhorse and scores with very high reliability. Thanks to the Ubuntu point releases, new Linux kernels are also made available to Linux Mint from time to time thanks to the Ubuntu hardware enablement stack. You have newer LTS kernels on offer. The main argument against the Ubuntu edition is the Ubuntu substructure. Some people have problems with old packages in the Ubuntu software stack. This is correct and is not unique to Linux Mint, but to all Ubuntu LTS based distros. The packages age. Linux Mint itself primarily maintains the in house Cinnamon desktop plus the X apps. Furthermore, using PPAs is sometimes for system upgrades a problem. This does not mean security updates via the update management, but upgrades in sense of the baseline. For example, from Linux Mint 20, 20.1, 20.2, or 20.3 to Linux Mint 21, not within the 20 family. If you don't fancy the Ubuntu underpinning in the ancient, horrid looking cinnamon desktop that Debian stable ships, then LMDE is an ornament in the sparse environment of the other alternatives. Debian is the source of Ubuntu, so it doesn't come with what many would call the Ubuntu package. Sometimes people say LMDE is faster than the regular Mint version. I can't see that and I think that's purely subjective goodwill. The Cinnamon desktop and the X apps are provided in the semi-rolled model. Meanwhile, LMDE is only a few weeks behind the regular edition. This means that a newer version of Cinnamon will be released for Linux Mint, for example, today, and it will also be available for LMDE shortly afterwards. That used to be with a longer time delay and has definitely improved. A disadvantage of LMDE is of course the aging package status due to Debian stable philosophy. This also struck me with Debian 10 when I wanted to install the Flatpak package on Google Chromium and it aborted because the Flatpak binary was too old under Debian stable at this time. With Ubuntu LTS the Flatpak binary could be updated with a PPA. LMDE offers the LTS kernel, which will be rolled out with Debian Stable. Newer kernels are not offered automatically. You can use backported Debian kernels, but on your own risk. In any cases, the good news is that if you like Cinnamon a lot, you have two choices if we exclude other distros at this point, because these are not supplied as seamlessly with regard to Cinnamon and X apps as Linux Mint does with its own editions somehow logical. Both editions have their individual strengths and weaknesses. In fact, Linux Mint is a GNU Linux distribution that strictly follows the LTS philosophy. There is no rolling edition. If you don't have a problem with that, you have the choice between two of the most potent LTS approaches. Before we come to the end of this video, I would like to ask for your opinion. Which Linux Mint edition do you prefer to use? Feel free to write your opinion down in the comments. We'll see if more LMDE or LMUE messages will come. Please also take the opportunity to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks. So what to choose? I would always use the subjective feeling of whether you like Ubuntu or Debian more. If there is no preference here, I would recommend the regular Linux Mint edition because this is simply a longer maintained product Thanks to the PPA, you are more flexible with the software and there is also a greater support community with forums etc. around. Flatpak has become second nature of both editions. LMDE fulfills the claim of an alternative very extensively. What is not quite same is the supported period, keeping software up to date thanks to PPA and the community around it. This is where the Ubuntu edition scores still. Otherwise, both editions are on par. From this, we can also conclude that the Linux Mint developers have done a very, very good job. That is honorable and deserves respect. So, that's all for today. Thanks for the kind attention and see you soon. Peace.